The digital world, a landscape once perceived as a realm of anonymity, is facing a new reality. Ransomware gangs, once operating with impunity from the shadows, are finding their digital fortresses crumbling under the weight of international law enforcement collaborations. No longer safe behind sophisticated encryption and layers of virtual walls, these cyber criminals face the long arm of the law, stretching across continents to bring them to justice. This new chapter in the fight against cybercrime is marked by a series of high-profile takedowns, sending shockwaves through the criminal underworld. Operation Endgame, as it has come to be known, exemplifies this shift in power, demonstrating the impact of coordinated efforts against a common enemy. For years, ransomware attacks have crippled businesses, hospitals, and even government agencies, holding critical data hostage for hefty ransoms. The impact of these attacks extends far beyond financial losses, often disrupting essential services and eroding public trust. The recent wave of international operations signals a change in tide, offering hope for a safer digital future. The message is clear, the net is closing in, and the days of operating with impunity are over. Operation Endgame, a testament to international cooperation, has dealt a significant blow to ransomware networks operating across Europe. This complex operation involved the coordinated efforts of law enforcement agencies from multiple countries, including the United States, Ukraine, and several European Union member states. These agencies, working in unison, were able to dismantle the infrastructure that enabled these criminal networks to operate. Central to their success was the identification and arrest of key individuals suspected of playing pivotal roles in these ransomware schemes. These arrests weren't limited to the foot soldiers of the operation. Authorities apprehended individuals believed to be high-ranking members, suspected of orchestrating and profiting from the attacks. While the details remain tightly guarded to protect ongoing investigations, early reports suggest that those arrested face a litany of charges related to computer intrusion, data theft, and financial fraud. The scale of the operation underscores the growing commitment among nations to combating ransomware, recognizing it as a global threat that transcends borders. By pooling resources, sharing intelligence, and coordinating their efforts, these countries have demonstrated the power of collective action against cybercrime. The success of Operation Endgame serves as a blueprint for future operations, highlighting the importance of international collaboration in combating sophisticated cybercriminal networks. Operation Endgame didn't stop at dismantling the technical infrastructure of these ransomware gangs. Law enforcement agencies went a step further, targeting the financial gains from their illicit activities. Authorities seized millions of dollars in various assets including cryptocurrency wallets, luxury vehicles and properties believed to have been purchased with illicit funds. These seizures represent a significant victory, striking at the heart of the ransomware business model profit. By seizing the ill-gotten gains, law enforcement agencies aim to cripple the financial resources that fuel these criminal enterprises. This can hinder their ability to recruit new members, develop more sophisticated malware, and launch future attacks. Moreover, the seizure of assets serves as a powerful deterrent, sending a clear message that engaging in ransomware activities carries significant financial risks. Section 4. Collaboration is key, the power of unity. The success of Operation Endgame highlights the indispensable role of international cooperation in combating cybercrime. Ransomware gangs often operate across borders, exploiting legal loopholes and jurisdictional complexities to evade justice. No single nation can effectively combat this global threat alone. It requires a coordinated multinational approach to effectively track down perpetrators, dismantle their networks, and bring them to justice. Operation Endgame demonstrates the effectiveness of joint task forces, information sharing platforms, and collaborative investigative efforts. By working together, nations can overcome jurisdictional hurdles, share critical intelligence, and pool resources to conduct complex multinational operations. The interconnected nature of cybercrime necessitates an equally interconnected response. Section 5 The Tech Arms Race The battle against ransomware is also a technological arms race. The battle against ransomware is also a technological arms race. Cyber criminals are constantly evolving their tactics, employing sophisticated encryption methods, and leveraging bulletproof hosting services to stay ahead of law enforcement agencies. To combat this, law enforcement must invest heavily in advanced technological tools and expertise. 
This includes developing sophisticated malware analysis tools, enhancing their ability to trace cryptocurrency transactions, and employing advanced surveillance techniques to track down perpetrators. Moreover, there is a growing need for partnerships with the private sector, particularly cybersecurity firms that possess specialized knowledge and tools to combat these evolving threats. Section 6. A Perpetual Game of Cat and Mouse While Operation Endgame marks a significant victory in the fight against ransomware, it is crucial to remember that cybercrime, like any other form of crime, is constantly evolving. As law enforcement agencies get better at disrupting ransomware operations, the criminals behind them adapt their tactics, seeking new vulnerabilities to exploit. This underscores the need for ongoing vigilance, continuous innovation, and sustained international cooperation. The fight against ransomware is not a battle with a defined end. Rather, it is a perpetual game of cat and mouse, requiring constant adaptation and collaboration to stay one step ahead of the criminals.